Hi. Good morning. This is the friendliest chicken. She's a snowy Easter egger and <laughs> she loves to do this. Chickens thrive at 75 degrees and over 95 degrees they are in danger and prone to getting heat stroke. In this video, I give you 10 things you can do to help your chickens get through the hottest months. I also give you a few recipes including an electrolyte solution, chicken popsicles, and explain how to make cactus water. So be sure to watch everything until the end. Tip 1. The first consideration before getting chickens is to build your coop so that it provides dark shade during the summer months. Dark shade is very important. We built our coop under this tree, but the tree is not enough, so we built this roof to give them even more shade. If it is very hot outside, any sun shining on the chickens will increase the temperature. Here we can see that there is a space in between the roof and the roof that is getting receiving the sun. And this is important because the airflow underneath here will take the heat that is building up in this roof and take it elsewhere. Whereas if the sun was directly hitting the roof of this coop, then the heat would go inside to where the chickens like to stay, and that would be very bad. It would become like an oven for them inside of this house, and this system keeps them cooler. There ideally would be more, a little bit more space in between here, but this is what we have to work in our setup. This is the top of their coop. We found this straw fence to cover the top of the area so in the winter time I plan on taking this off so they have a lot more sun and the squash is growing to give them even more shade so as you can see they have lots of shade <laughs> as you can see they have lots of shade with this straw fence that's on top of the coop and there is some wire here, so I plan on removing the straw fence in the winter time so the sunlight can come in and they can stay warmer with more sun. Okay, this is a snowy Easter egger. She's a breed that is good for hot and climates. Her feet don't have feathers on them and her body's relatively slim. She doesn't have a lot of plumage like many breeds that are good for the winter. So be sure to do your research on chicken breeds. And as you can tell, her body is... <laughs> her body is... What do you want? What's wrong with you? I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna take you over here so you can... I'm gonna take you over here so you can... Come on, get on there. There you go. Okay. <laughs> So oh, yeah, there she is. <laughs> Tip two, make sure there is more than one source of fresh water and check these sources often. Keep a few shallow dishes or a small kid's pool filled with water so they can choose to keep their feet wet in the water. It is important to have water in different areas of the coop. You can put chicken electrolytes in one water and keep the others fresh to give them options. Mm. Tip three, freeze jugs of water. These frozen jugs can be the old laundry detergent jug or a used milk jug. Have several of these ready and put them in the coop area as soon as the weather gets to 90 degrees or above. The chickens love them and learn that they can lay and stand on these jugs. The temperature around the jugs is cooler. Have some ready for the day and then bring out the others when night falls so they can get a good night's sleep. Tip four, dig a hole. Sitting low in some nice cool dirt is a great way for your chicken to cool off. Helping them to dig a deeper hole allows more of its body to come in contact with this natural cooling method. You like it? Tip five, Chicken ice cubes with electrolytes. We give it to them and they love, they love the ice. Here you go. <laughs> These ice cubes were made with a little bit of powdered Gatorade and a pinch of salt. They love to eat ice on a cool day and the ice works for them to lower their body temperature.
Tip 6. In many of the southern parts of the U.S., cactus grows freely. All cactus varieties are edible, and cactus has some great cooling properties on the body. If you happen to live in an area where there is cactus growing, this tip is for you. To get a piece of cactus for your chickens, it is suggested that you use gloves, tongs, and a knife. You will need a place to put the piece of cactus once it is cut, so bring a box that is thick enough so that the cactus needles do not break through and prick you. Once you have cut your piece of cactus, you can use the knife to remove the large needles to make it safer to handle. The cactus must be cleaned and free of all needles. Once all of the needles have been removed, rinse the cactus and cut it into pieces. The larger the pieces, the longer it will take to create the jelly-like consistency that is desired. Once the cactus has been cut, fill a dish with water and put the cactus pieces in the water. Immediately, it will begin to create a jelly-like consistency. Cactus is able to grow in dry and hot climates and can survive with little water. Since it comes from such a climate, cactus is made up of cooling properties to withstand those elements. This water has a cooling effect for chickens and for people too. Let's go give this to the chickens. <laughs> Tip seven. Chicken popsicles. You can make these yourself. Do not add sugar or anything that chickens would not normally eat. These are made with some papaya blended in the blender with water and a pinch of salt. It is very simple and they absolutely love it. Mm, they love it. Keeps them cool. Tip 8. Poultry Electrolytes Water Solution I'm going to show you how to make an electrolyte solution. If you have a chicken in particular who is suffering from the heat, this mixture can be given to it with a dropper if it is not drinking water on its own. This solution is also good to put in the water for the chickens if it is very very hot outside and you observe the chickens panting and in need of a boost. If the chicken is dehydrated and will not drink on its own, use some warm water to dissolve the solution because it will be less of a shock to its body. Be sure to test the temperature of the water on your wrist like the temperature of food for a baby to make sure it is a good temperature. For this solution, you will need one cup of water, one teaspoon of sugar, one eighth teaspoon of salt NaCl, and 1 8 teaspoon of potassium chloride. This salt has both, so I will put 2 8 teaspoon of this. This is light salt, which means it has more potassium chloride. Next, you will need 1 8 teaspoon of baking soda. Mix the ingredients together until everything is dissolved. Mm -hmm. 
And you can even try it to see what it tastes like. It just tastes like something sugary and salty that will give you a boost. This, you can give this in a dropper to a sick chicken, or you can just put this in the water of the other chickens. If it is very hot outside and you cannot make them the electrolyte solution, as a last resort, you can give them some Gatorade, but only for emergencies as this has colorants and additives. It is not the best thing for them, but it is one step closer to preventing dehydration. Tip 10 is a misting system. As a last resort, turn on the water misters. Water and moisture is not good for chickens. Extra moisture can cause a number of funguses to grow and sicknesses to appear. The misters do keep the temperature a few degrees cooler, but be sure the chickens have two options and can choose between being directly underneath the misters or away from the misters. Turn the misters on for just a short while during the hottest part of the day to be sure the chickens are the most comfortable in the heat. Eleven, Ayurvedic buttermilk. This drink can give your chickens an instant rehydration during a hot summer's day. The mixture of salt and water, cumin and cilantro is an electrolyte drink which replenishes what the body needs immediately during the heat of summer. You will need cilantro, buttermilk, preferably organic, one that does not have any additives, cumin, and one half cup of water. Get some cumin with this fancy little spoon. So cumin in the water. And then just a bunch, a little handful of cilantro or coriander, depending on where you're from. Then one half cup of buttermilk. And here I have the cumin and the cilantro and I'm just going to add one half cup of buttermilk until the line. This is our mixture. To help with hydration, just add a little bit of salt, a little bit more than a pinch. Pour it into the blender. Buttermilk will provide the much needed calcium that chickens need in a liquid form. The refreshing and soothing nature of buttermilk and spice will improve digestive system health. This recipe is often used to restore the beneficial intestinal bacteria aiding digestion. I'm just gonna pour it into these three little dishes because I don't want to give them so much. They really like to drink this. I'm going to show you their cute little faces enjoying this drink. Just wanna try a little bit. It tastes really good. Mm. So this is something that is specifically for the summer and in India when it's very hot people drink this drink It is good for us and it is good for the chickens. Let's go give it to them This is a great probiotic, and as you can tell, they really enjoy it. If you have some of your own tips not mentioned in this video for keeping your chickens cool in the heat, please let us all know in the comments. It will help everyone to learn how to keep their chickens cooler. I hope that this video was able to give you some good information that you can apply 
and please hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of my